Hey, what up all my two doctors and doctresses. Welcome to another video at the Tooth Factory. Today, we're gonna to be talking about how to become a dentist in Canada in 2022. Yes, we made this video in 2019. It read really well with you guys' support, but there have been updates and we couldn't help but make a video on it. So without much ado, get your pens and papers ready and let's dive into the NDEBs. Another video at the Tooth Factory. Today's topic is extremely important. As we know, it is how to become a dentist in Canada in 2022. Dr. Cannon Shas put together a very informative presentation and I, Rishi, will be presenting to you. So let's take a look at the NDEB process. First, we're going to look at the flowchart as to how to get to dentistry from BDS. Then we're going to look into the AFK exam, which is the first exam, right? We take this exam and then we get to take the second exam, which is the ACJ, Assessment of Clinical Judgment. And this has become the biggest update so far, which is replacing ACS. It is now called NDEC which is National Dental Examination of Clinical Competence. It's essentially the same thing, but a couple of things have changed. We'll take a look at them in detail. We'll also look at how to achieve your degree, not just licensing, but degree in DDS. And then, of course, the written and the OSCE board that everyone has to write at the end of step one to five. So, first of all, let's understand the whole picture in a flowchart summary. Before we do anything with NDB, we must go through the equivalency process. That's document verification. And after retrieving the approval, we can write or be eligible to write the first exam, the AFK, Assessment of Fundamental Knowledge, which is a basic theory exam. We'll look deeper into these later. After you clear this, we get one of the routes open to exams, which leads to, of course, licensure. Licensure exams, a second exam is ACJ, which is Assessment of Clinical Judgment. It's clinical theory, you know, radiographic, diagnostic, things like that. And then, of course, it leads to our third exam. We must pass all of the prior exams to move to the next exam. The NDEC is a clinical practical. We'll take a look at that as well. Or the AFK opens our route into a second university route to degree that is of course if we uh, match up to the competition or if we have a high mark or not or if we want to go into that uh, advanced uh, DDS programs or not so there at, at this moment with AFK there are only about six universities in Canada that are accepting AFK recently ADAT has taken over two major universities right such as McGill and uh, University of Toronto, University of Toronto, eh? After which, the uh, NDEC or the DDS programs, we have to go through what's called a certification process. And that is the written and OSCE. All students, no matter if you're a Canadian uh, dental student or international dental student, you have to write this exam in order to be board certified and licensed. You now you are NDEB certified dentist. So that's the basic format. Let's take a little dig into the first step, which is NDEB registration and verification. See, first we need to collect and review our documents. There are two types of columns in this section. We got the applicant section and we got the university section. So you as the applicant, we must submit the required document form, which is available on the NDEB portal once you register. The notarized government issue identification could be your passport, notarized final degree, and notarized internship completion certificate. These are the only things required by the applicant to be mailed to the NDEB. Now remember it says notarized, 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 do not send your originals guys. And by the university, it means where you did your BDS. The university directly must send the confirmation of degree completion form, which is also provided by NDEB, and official university transcripts, university, not college, university transcripts, sealed and stamped directly to NDEB by your university. Right? Then basically we would collect all these documents and then create the NDEB account and submit them. That's our step one, right? We wait six to eight months, generally six to eight months, could be earlier. Uh, some people have had 12 months, but six to eight months is the ballpark. 
Step two is the assessment of fundamental knowledge. Now this exam is the most important exam in our journey because it's the first one, right? It has to do with basic biomedical sciences and clinical science knowledge exam. It'll ask you about everything in the five years that we've learned in dentistry back home. It, right, right now it is being offered as paper or electronically in the Prometric Center, but soon they will get rid of the paper and it will only move to electronic. What it consists of is two, 200 multiple choice questions, right? It's divided into two parts, 100 questions each, and there, there are only single answers for this exam. There is no negative marking. Perfect. So. $800 for a single attempt. This is great because it used to be 1000. There are three attempts and this is where it gets tricky. Uh, after three attempts, none of this matters. We cannot get through the equivalency process at all. So three attempts. An exam is delivered up to two times a year. We got in February and August as of now. It is a four hour duration, which means that it's divided into two parts of two hours each, right? A hundred questions, two hours, basically. And it's in two formats we discussed as paper and electronic at Prometric centers. 75 rescaled mark is the passing grade. Now, do not confuse this as 75 percentage. It doesn't mean that you have to get 150 out of 200 to pass. No, that is not what it means. What this means is there is a method through which NDEB marks are papers and that leads to a score of 75. So don't be under the impression that it's percentage. Now, successful completion of the AFK will lead to one of the two. We got step three or option two. Let's take a look at what they will be. Step two or sorry, I mean step three here, sorry, is the assessment of clinical judgment. Now the option two we'll take a look at in a bit. We know that ACJ is a clinical radiographic diagnostic and clinical decision making exam. It's similar to the case presentations, but except online, it'll you'll get x-rays, you'll get diagnostic cases, and all of them are multiple choice answers. The trick here is that it's 120 to 150 multiple choice questions. There could be multiple answers, which means there could be a negative marking associated with it. There is a 5.5 hour duration, three attempts just like AFK, two times a year just like AFK, and the, re the registration for the exam fees is about 1350 Canadian dollars for one attempt. Prometric centers are available for this exam. And again, 75 rescaled marks for passing, not percentage. Successful completion will lead to step four. Now, remember after AFK, we mentioned that there was option two. Well, option two is the degree completion process. To achieve your DDS degree, we'll discuss that later. So hang on to this point here, okay? Let's move to step four, which is the National Dental Examination of Clinical Competence. In other words, this was ACS before it got changed to this name. It actually is taking place starting this year. So it is brand new. It is clinical procedures and treatment measures in a clinical setting. Well, basically it's a mannequin exam, right? How we would uh, do it back in dental school. You'd have to perform several tasks. We'll take a look at which one. Again, it is replacement of assessment of clinical skills starting September, 2022. It is $9,000 in fees. Yes, it is very high for each attempt. There are seven clinical requirements and 10 situational judgment. Now, this is basically when they would ask you different cases and you'd have to answer on how you would perform those tasks. This is a two day exam. And the best part about this exam is NDEB is trying to make it more comfortable for us. You know how they went from 300 AFK questions to 200. Now we have unlimited attempts for the clinical exam. Yes, I know it's expensive, but this is good. It's very good news, guys. So all exercises must be passed in order to successfully clear this exam. You cannot fail any one out of seven or one out of 
10, you cannot fail any exam. You have to pass them all. So let's take a look at what the two components are of the NDEC. There's seven clinical requirements and 10 situational judgments. Once you do, you pass, right? You're done, you're done the equivalency process. But let's take a look at the exam components. Exam component one for the seven clinical requirements, we got a class two amalgam, class two amalgam. Now this is a preparation and restoration. Class two composite restoration. Class four composite restoration. Crown preparation, provisional restoration, and endodontic excess cavity preparation. Basically one of the most important steps in dentistry. They'll test us on mannequins. Component two, the 10 situational judgments. What are they? Now, well, think of it this way. When you talk to a patient, it's not just these. There's several other aspects, you know, such as patient-centered care, where you're diagnosing and treatment planning. There's a certain format. There is a professionalism where there's ethical dilemmas, referrals, and social media usage. Very important in today's time. How about communication and collaboration? Well, that's when you have a doctor-patient relationship and you must maintain its integrity. There's also lessons in that. There's practice and information management. This is for patient record maintenance. A very important and also a medical legal requirement of our profession. And health promotion. This has to do with social determinants of health. Very base level public health uh, concepts in Canada are health promotions. Every health field is taught this. So we are tested on it. And that's our clinical exam. Now, option two. This is right after a FK. Congratulations on passing the AFK exam with a high score. Now, this is extremely important. I'll explain that in, a, in just a moment. See, in this, the degree completion process, we will have to move to universities to apply and get our degree, right? So the advanced DDS programs are qualifying programs offered by various faculties in Canada that allow international dentists to attain dental education and potentially earn a DDS or a DMD. Now, this is no different they are the same so please don't confuse them it is literally the same followed by a general practicing license through the certification process remember it was the OSCE and the written we all have to write it at the end of the process I hope that's clear you guys so let me get rid of all our ink here move forward to the next area of information the DDS programs are generally two to three years in duration, but just consider three years. That'll, it'll take that much time. Competitive AFK scores will aid admission. That's where this high score point comes into play. Is more than 85 is my recommendation. See, every year the applicants increase. And to beat the competition, we must earn as high as possible. So let's aim for about 85 or more and we should be in the safe ball game. The graduation from IDPP, which is International Dental Programs, offers DDS or DMD degree with a license or an opportunity to get the license, I must say. And applicants must be a Canadian permanent resident or a Canadian citizen. This is a must. A lot of people may skip that detail, but after AFK, in order to apply to universities, this is a mandate. The costs are... $250,000 to $300,000 in tuition and other expenses such as living and rent and your car gas and grocery and so on and forth. But that's how much it can cost up to. After that, we did it guys. We are now entered into the NDEB certification process. You're practically a dentist. What you now need is a license, right? Uh, license involves an OSCE rotation and a written exam. These are basically what they call as dental boards. All graduates must pass these exams no matter uh, where we come from. The written exam consists of 250 minute sessions administered in the morning and afternoon of the same day. Examination will consist of 300 single answer multiple choice questions. So consider AFK, right? This is back to square one. There's $1,000 for a single attempt. 
and then the OSCE will include two sessions administered on the same day. Each session will include 50 multiple choice and one constructed response question. What are they? Well, OSCE questions will require that you review the information that will be provided to you, such as case history, dental charts, photographs, radiographs, and write an acceptable prescription for the patient. Basically, you're just demonstrating that you know how to practice dentistry. At the end of it, we are absolutely licensed, you guys. And then we apply for the provincial licensure uh, application and we get through it. Now, I'd also like to remind you guys that in the previous videos, I did mention that the Tooth Factory's plan for AFK course, we are starting a entire course on our new website. It's still under construction, uh, thanks to your guys' support. It is going to be a subscription-based monthly payment, no less than, or of less than uh, 500, and question banks will be offered with answers and explanations, interactive quizzes, direct video lectures, and so on and forth. We'll also be able to hold weekly webinars for concept clarifications. Personalized scheduling facility will help you design your schedule for AFK preparation. We'll also give you textbooks and so on and forth. But it's coming soon, guys. It's still underway. Our team is very little. Um, my wife, uh, Dr. Cannon Shah, and I are working very hard at it. Uh, so please stay tuned and keep your faith in us. So basically, what we learned so far was we need AFK, ACJ, and NDEC. Or we need AFK and DDS or DMD. Both ways we end up at written and OSCE. And then after we are a dentist. Now, I do want to come through one thing, you guys. Total cost. I, I get this question a lot, right? Total cost. For any exam route, I want to give you a ballpark. All the exams with, you know, registration of $1,100. With, this is the equivalency registration. $800 for AFK. $1,350 for ACJ. And $9,000 for NDEC. Plus, we take classes or courses plus your transport and you know because the classes aren't everywhere the exams aren't everywhere in my experience it has led to you know with uh, potential failures and here we, we're, ta we're talking practically correct so we got about 35,000 to 50,000 Canadian dollars that is how much money you'll need now the next question is, how do we afford this much amount? Well, you know what? Stay tuned, you guys. We do have a very important solution for you. It's coming soon. We're making a video on how to afford, how to afford the $50,000 journey of the NDEB from loans, and line of credit we are working uh, with a bank to get all the information so we'll come back to you on that uh, stay tuned for that information you guys so hope you learned something new today it is very important that you guys please like share and of course subscribe it really helps us grow you guys and uh, bring our team together to make better content so please stay tuned for more guidance like this one.